Coming up, what's in your water? We'll tell you why local activists are sounding the alarm. A big story this week is an Associated Press investigation that found prescription drugs in much of the nation's drinking water. Pontiac Township High School students have created a solution for getting rid of your prescription drugs that is safe for the environment. P2D2 is the Prescription Pill and Drug Disposal Program, and basically what it is, it's a program where students or organizations work with their local police stations or pharmacies to get unused or unwanted pharmaceuticals out of our waterways and out of people's hands. 2007, in December, um, my wife and I were getting ready for school. She said, you know, we got all these pills in our, in our cabinet, what do we do with them? And uh, I didn't know the answer. And so I went back to my students and said, hey, uh, what do you guys think about let's research this and see if we can come up with something we can do. Student leaders from Pontiac Township High School created the P2D2 program. I put the, the, the kids to the test. And so from that, the kids came up with uh, not only the, the state of Illinois model for pharmaceutical disposal, uh, not only the United States model for pharmaceutical disposal, um, but we're now in uh, four other countries. Today they presented some of their findings to community members attending a conference at East Peoria's Embassy Suites. They want people of all ages to know about the harmful impact on the water supply of improper drug disposal like flushing pills down the toilet. How exciting is it that we have kids who, are, who care about water, who care about life, who care about our environment? How cool is that? And they're taking action right now every day in their hometown. That's what gets me excited. Right now, we've got kids testing for atrazine in the water. Atrazine is one of the most widely used uh, herbicides in America. It's thought that it has similar effects to that of endocrine disruptors in pharmaceuticals and personal care products. One of the most common ways that people dispose of them is by flushing them down the toilet because they don't think anything will happen. But at the wastewater treatment facilities that we have, there's no, uh, there's no screening for these pharmaceuticals. It's just convenient to throw it away or flush it down your toilet, they don't really see the harmful effects of what happens to like animals or anything else or what goes into your water. They just drink water. They think it's fine, it's clear. They have purifiers and everything. Currently, we've been doing the test for two weeks. Our goal is to go 10 weeks so we can get a good picture of what's in there. Out of 10 results on our first week, we only found one. Um, in our second week, we found one, interestingly enough, in the exact same place. It was in the middle of town. Pontiac, Illinois is a really cool place. Uh, I was uh, born and raised here. Uh, my wife was born and raised here. Uh, we're in the middle of basically what I would call Corntown, USA. We have a large number of museums. We also have uh, a large number of windmills, so wind power, um, which is kind of interesting because not too far from here, you can actually go to a nuclear power plant with a, with a wind turbine sitting next to it, which is the only place in the world that you can see that. The reality is there isn't a single stranger in this community. Uh, you walk around town and and uh, meet people, and nobody's a stranger. Pontiac is really my Eden. The program is set up to where it's, it's working with pharmacies and police departments who are taking back controlled and non-controlled substances. So all medication, whether it be homeopathic or prescription medication, whether it be liquids, uh, ointments, or, or pills, the medication then goes back either to the police departments or the pharmacies. Then from there, it gets sent to an incinerator. An incinerator, um, uh, the company that, that has been doing all of our incineration, uh, Covanta Energy, who is unbelievable and amazing. Um, these guys 
basically take our medication that we send to them for free and then they turn it into power which powers homes. In the last two years alone programs with P2D2 have been responsible for over two million pounds of pharmaceuticals being brought back and properly destroyed. Every once in a while you can have a, a test that will read positive that's, that's not true. When the first time it happened, you know, we hadn't had any runoff, and so I thought, mm, this is a false positive. The second week, the exact same location, we have the exact same positive. That's a positive. That's, we have a positive. It's estimated that more than 41 million Americans could be taking prescription drugs like mood stabilizers and hormones just by drinking water out of their tap. Pharmaceuticals being found in the water have led to many frogs being found hermaphroditic. Obviously death is a, is a huge problem. We see a lot of um, fish affected by it and how populations just die out because there's so much cancer treatment, medication. Wastewater and water treatment plants are not designed to remove pharmaceuticals. And so um, Illinois American Water, um, th they've helped out quite a bit as far as uh, helping us establish programs in these communities. And so without, without these co corporate partnerships of people wanting to help us, I, I just don't think that these kids would have gotten as far as they, as they could have. But at the same time, I don't think anybody's got a louder voice than a bunch of kids. The Clean Water Celebration is such an amazing event, bringing 3,000 kids from Central Illinois into the Civic Center in Peoria and, and just celebrating water, you know, it, it's so amazing. And next, I would like to introduce John G. Wachman-Schmidt, who has a very special award for the student from Pontiac High School, and he'll tell you more about it. We have a check here for five thousand dollars. Uh, you know, we've been doing the, the clean water celebration uh, for about seven or eight years now. Um, and it was uh, right in there when we, when we did our first P2D2 program. And uh, when we got invited to, to attend, um, it was a situation where they wanted our kids to teach other kids how to make, make good things happen for their communities as well. It's not so much that we find communities. Communities kind of like find us. PTT2 has gotten a lot of promotion over the years just by doing all the things that it does. It started here in Pontiac and it grew out through Illinois and out through the United States. And then now it's in like five or six different countries. It's developed a life of its own. It's, uh, it's out there and, and people discover that, that the solution uh, is easy and so Simply by calling us or calling another program, uh, they're able to get started all by themselves. More often than not, Site 5 uh, hit positive. 
And you know, we're going in the last week and, and I'm pretty confident it's going to do it again. Out of the 100 tests that we did over the 10 weeks, a large number of them were positive. And so it reassures me that solutions like the P2D2 program are essential. The brilliance of this program is that it's simple. It's adaptable to any community. And that's all thanks to these kids. I have no idea where the P2D2 program is going to go in the future. It's a situation where it's a little known problem, but once people know, they really get energized about it and want to make a difference in, in their hometown because it can be a small town problem, but it's also a worldwide problem. But I do know that it'll be around forever. I've asked pretty much everybody about the P2D2 force and nobody's even heard of it. In Vermont? Yes. Yeah. Is it still... Yeah. Is it still going? Yeah, it's still there. Um, I've actually never been there. Pontiac Township High School's plan to get prescription drugs out of the water supply has created a forest in Vermont. What our kids did back, uh, I think 2008, 2009, somewhere in there, um, they decided that they wanted to have a living part of P2D2. And so what the kids did is they took and, and raised money. Uh, they bought part of uh, the trees that went into the, to putting this forest together. And so I think all in all that, that our kids portion contributed to over a million trees being uh, planted in the P2D2 forest. You know it's incredible. Uh, it's 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 hard to imagine uh, the kids from our hometown help preserve something like this. Simply amazing.